Hey guys, welcome to another video at Phone Ops, and today we are talking about the official update of 12.5, that is MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now remember, this is not started rolling out in India, but this is the global update, so India rollout should be around the corner. And I can tell you what to expect, what not to expect. And as always, there will be things which are given to the global version, but will not be given to the Indian version. So we will talk about that when we get this update in India. But for now, this is a quick preview of what to expect from 12.5 and how is the performance. Remember, we'll also be doing a live stream today evening using the same ROM so that we know how good or bad the gaming performance is. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and get to a thousand members. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. let's get going. Alright, so right off the bat, what do we have here? A new logo for MIUI 12 or 12.5, the update version is 12.5.10 or 12.5.1.0, right? Now, this is the usual change log that you will see in any MIUI 12.5 update, uh, 20 times faster, this, that, blah, blah, I don't believe that. It looks like it's written by someone who was trying to act funny. Anyways, doesn't really matter. You can go through the change log. Moving on, this is the POCO X3 Pro 6128 variant. And if you go to all specifications, you will see the security patch has been updated to May. That is May 2021. And this is the perf kernel as always, right? So that's everything about the system info. This is the official OTA that is rolling out to global users right now right now talking about the dialer this does come with the google dialer so the call recording prompt will be there right so nothing much you can do that you can go for a custom rom if you want the miui dialer because that doesn't give you the warning of call is being recorded another good or bad thing for some it'll be good for some it'll be bad when you reboot the phone there is now a boot animation sound which if you go to settings and then if you go to sound you go to additional settings and under boot audio you can go ahead and disable or enable it i keep it disabled it's completely your call now moving on if we actually talk about the sound menu you have a new user interface if you click on notifications it actually takes you to the themes store which is a little weird and what i would say over here is if you disable the mobile data and internet all together and then if you go to sound it will take you to the inbuilt you know ringtones and stuff so a little shady stuff over there you do have the sound assistant multiple audio sources adjust media sound in multiple apps so all those options are available pretty neat there do not disturb all the nifty things of do not disturb are present so let's quickly enable the internet all together so that's the sound menu for you right another neat thing over here if you actually press the volume up or volume down you do get a toast notification while enabling or disabling do not disturb or dnd now as you can see over here we have the control center as you can notice this control center's brightness slider is now sticky it has a separate section at the bottom earlier it used to go below the ui or below the you know uh, place where the screen gets over but it's it's not like that and uh, I would say that you know it's pretty fluid I would not say that it's bad or something but yes it's it's nothing compared to custom ROMs when it comes to the smoothness now moving on to the list of changes you do have the new 12.5 sound menu you have silent DND and all the volume sliders so that is something that they have changed but if we talk about the power menu you still get the old power menu you don't get the striking one line power menu which is there in MIUI 12.5 China ROMs right now moving on if we actually go ahead and talk about the battery section over here right you have battery saver ultra battery saver a separate section for battery over here you can go ahead and enable disable the battery saver as per your choice or you know scheduled so all the options are there but if you go to battery optimization right this is something stupid over here turn off always on display now this is a poco x3 pro which has a lcd display and it doesn't have 
AMOLED which means it doesn't have always on display so sort of very very lazy and uh, lousy stuff from the developers there they should have just taken it out they just believe in porting ROMs from one device to the other without making any minor changes or major changes let alone huge performance optimizations now moving on let's quickly have a look at the settings now before we move to the settings if you talk about the UI the launcher itself is settings more if you go to about this is the poco launcher which a lot of people call as poop launcher with love now i'll tell you why it's not love actually but <laughs> anyways so if you see over here you have a ton of options right if you go to home screen you do have google discover right you can enable and disable these features but for me from the time I have done a clean install on this ROM, Google Discover has not been working at all. So right off the bat, there is a bug in the launcher itself, right? Another thing is if you actually go to settings and apps, manage apps, right? Now you have all the neat options over here, uninstalled system apps, it's blank. Like they included the feature or just the name keeper for that particular feature but the feature is nowhere implemented and it's not that this is not a bug you can go ahead and try to you know unlist or un you can go ahead and try to uninstall the applications that you don't want right but it will not allow you to uninstall so they bragged a lot about it in the presentation of MIA 12.5 but it is not there and I'll tell you this there are a lot of features from you know MI year 12.5 which are not available over here by 12.5 I mean the China ROM right like the you know double tap to the fingerprint or tap at the back the feature which was introduced in iPhone earlier and now it is there on the China China beta ROM of 12.5 China stable partial screenshot is missing right and if you go to settings and you go to privacy protection and all those things you have the old UI in in China ROMs you have the iOS like UI right and as always poco launcher if you talk about it there is nothing in the name of animation they're not even trying to fix it they've probably given up on the animations of poco launchers by now now if you would ask me is this a great update is this a good update before i actually go ahead and give you my verdict let me actually show you the benchmark numbers and i'll also show you the gallery before we actually get into the benchmarks so let's actually go to gallery over here okay same old gallery nothing new nothing fancy right okay now over here this is the CPU throttling test this is probably the worst result that I've seen in a stock ROM mind you there is a custom ROM ROS which the average score is 235 GIPS 235,000 GIPS and this is like 50% of that so the performance in the throttling test is bad right moving on we can actually go to Geekbench and we can actually have a look at the run that we had today is the 8th of June 649-2651 right another ROM 761 739 908 and 3349 so you know you have all sorts of performance numbers but the performance on this ROM even in benchmarks is not that great even if you have a look at the end to two numbers and remember these benchmarks have been run after keeping the phone aside letting it cool down for 10 to 15 minutes and then we have done that of course I've not used game turbo because that's for games not for ben benchmarks and that would be cheating so if you ask me is this a good update or bad update I will definitely tell you this is a not so good update you can go ahead and update it if you are on the global variant that is why you this is the Indian variant that is BMI and I have gone ahead and manually flashed it so you know a lot of things which were supposed to be given to us with MIUI 12.5 are missing clearly Xiaomi is not doing a great job there at the same time poco launcher doesn't seems to be fixed i don't know in which generation it'll get fixed and we have a half baked ui half baked features you know they promise a lot of things performance and features if you go to the china rom you will have everything available there but i don't know why the global or the indian roms don't get those features let me know what do you think about this quick review of miui 12.5 global and do tune into the live stream today evening when we will be testing the gaming performance of this rom while playing pubg mobile until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye